I thought to myself, that's not a good thing, that could be a big bad mistake. So he didn't want to know, he wanted to work it out for himself on the night, well now he knows. It was a bit too late to get a DVD, but I'm sure we could oblige him with one of these. It is an absolutely fantastic fight for two super bantamweights to be so much stuff thrown and received that it's a wonder that they're still in there battling like this. I can tell you this to me, whenever one of these guys throws a good solid right hand or left hand is going to win this fight, the next good punch thrown by somebody is going to be the winning punch. Either man may be ready to go. Cordoba, I think, a little more than Dunn, but you never know. Dunn's right eye has got a little nick and some blood showing. It's not too bad, it's not bad. The body shots are raining in from Cordoba. Can oh. Dunn fight his way out? He can with the left hook. But Cordoba's throwing in. Don Panamanian. This is the Panamanian school. All out. And now Dunn fights back and gets in. This is top level, top drawer. Fantastic fight. In years to come, they'll surely talk about this one. Tick for tap, punch for punch, love for love. And right high bleeding again. Don is bleeding as well. Two punches after the bell for Cordoba, but he's forgiven by the referee and everybody else. Well, what do you think? The crowd around here asking one another. People saying, what do you think? Who's winning? Is he going to win? All questions can only get opinions for answers. Because opinions and facts are two different things. I reckon Bernard Dunn's in trouble. Who's got the physical strength? Who can throw that one big punch to which Dave Boy McCauley referred? And now you know why they train in camp for so long. Now you know why they do so many miles on the road. So many pieces with medicine balls and speed balls and heavy bags. Because 12 rounds of this it's 36 minutes of boxing. Bring him up. The 11 intervals. Now you don't need me to add it up for you. Work out of it, work out of it. Work. And the heat, and the arc lights, and the whole bit. Brian Taters has put on not just a world championship fight, but a show. Music from Frank McNamara. Tremendous atmosphere, the Amir's added to it as well. Don apologizes for that. Takes a strong left hand. Break! Break! Dave Boy McCauley, you've been in nine world championship fights. I bet you're glad to be outside the ring tonight. No, you're, you're, you're not getting out of it. I wouldn't get in there if you were a of fortune. A good left hook by Fernando no. Dom. Break! This fight is going one way, then another way, then back again. This is one of the best fights I've seen in a long, long, long time. He has him going! He has, he has, him. has him going! One more punch, 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 is all but gone. His legs are wobbling, the referee will stop it, I think. His corner don't want it, but one more punch will decide it. Dunn going for the world title. Fabulous hey! performance by Bernard Dunn. And surely now, one more count will do it. The world champion looks distracted. Dunn looks on the brink of fame. Box on. Another left hand that almost tears the head of the Panamanian world champion. Fabulous stuff from Dunn. And there seems no escape route 
for the exit doors in this fabulous arena for the card of Cordoba or is there one punch in the world champion to deny Dunn but he's fought so hard for here tonight this is a brilliant fight one of the best we've ever had and Cordoba is gone Bernard Dunn is the champion of the world Bernard Dunn is the champion of the world fantastic Bernard fantastic Ricardo Cordo was still out, still out, he's still out and they into the ring. The doctor knows what to do. Fabulous finish. Not for Ricardo Cordo, mind you. Okay, can... but for Bernard Dunn. But tonight, Bernard Dunn, you have risen to the greatest occasion of your life. Fantastic. And is he happy? Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 59 seconds of round 11, the winner by knockout and the new WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Bernard Dunn! The WBA belt been put around his waist. A fabulous moment for Bernard Dunn. Man who has so many fans before this. But he'll have a few thousand more after it. Bernard Dunn, congratulations, you are a world champion. as a boy in Neilstown that one day you would win the world title but you've done it. Congrats, your points. I mean there was, there was there was times in that fight when there was times there when Ricardo was just putting pressure on and his hand just seemed so fast and after the third round I started to get blurred vision and I couldn't really I couldn't see how the left eye really at all and the right eye was starting to go blurry and I had to keep trying to wipe the blood away. But it's ours. It's all ours. I said, I said during the week, I said during the week, if there was one comment I could make, that comment was believe. And I believed I could win this world. I, you know, I've, I've sacrificed so much, you know, dedicated so much of my time, been away from my family. And like, this just makes every moment of the world worthwhile. It really does. This has justified absolutely everything I've ever done in boxing. And you know, if there's two people that, that completely had faith in me, they're my dad and Harry Hawkins. These guys never, ever doubted I could win a world title. And you know, I owe an awful lot to them. I really do. Did you ever, ever doubt your own ability? Well, you see, it's not just about me doubting you. You have to have good people around you. And I have a good team around me. These people support me and trust me. And you guys, you guys have been fantastic. Like, uh, you know, this has been amazing. This is for everybody here. Everybody here is contributing to this. Ladies and gentlemen, Bernard Dunn, world champion.